Today for Make It March, I am making apple turnovers from the home can pantry. So decadent. Well, hi guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And for the next edition of the Make It March. Make It March is a collaboration put on by Lisa from Sutton's Days in 2023. And it has great collaborators. We're all bringing you something to use your home canned pantry items. So if you don't know what to do with apple pie filling other than apple pie, if you wanna dress it up in a different outfit, I've got just the video for you. We are gonna make apple turn, I'm gonna make apple turnovers today and it's gonna be delicious and it's gonna have a cream cheese icing and mm, yum. So these are easy to make. I do have puff pastry from the store down here. So come on in, I'm gonna show you how easy this is to put together and Go down in the about section. I've got a link to everybody and all the information. There's a giveaway. Four Jars is sponsoring this along with Lisa over at Sutton Stays. Lisa's giving away a 23 quart Presto canner or a gift card for Amazon if you're out of the United States. Four Jars is giving away two, count them, two gift baskets. And those will include, one has a $50 gift card and one has Visa gift card for Amazon and, or I guess it's just a Visa gift card. And the other one has a hundred dollar gift card. What? So we have a great giveaway. Lisa's put this all together and I'm so thankful and grateful to be a part of this. And it's been very, very fun. And I've enjoyed the recipes so far. Let me just tell you, I have not been disappointed with mine or anybody else's. I'm inspired to use my home can stuff more than ever. So I do hope that you'll stay with me. You'll check the description and I'll leave you all the links you need to everybody's channel. Go watch them and comment to be put in for the drawing. A, a kind comment, please, um, on everyone's video. There'll be a random pick or draw. Lisa's gonna do it live at the end of the month. So anyway, it'll be exciting. All right, come on in. Let's show you how easy apple turnovers are. Okay, so I have puff, puff pastry. That's easier said than, yeah, not said puff pastry and I've floured my surface. Uh, this is thawed out to room temperature. It took a while, I I'm not gonna lie. And this has been in the freezer, you let it thaw, and then you wanna make sure that you have plenty of flour out. And hopefully I do, cause we're gonna roll this out bigger. And I'm just gonna take some of this flour that's on my, my my silicone mat and roll this out. So roll your sheet out thinner and if you need to turn it, turn it. Oh, look at that. Look at, look at there, look at there. Okay, I'm excited for this. This is so easy and such a great way to use pie filling. And I have a plethora of apple pie filling and I still have blackberry pie filling. Let me just tell you. So we're gonna roll this out as big as we can get it, but you know, okay. And I don't care if it's perfect. I'm not perfect, nobody's perfect, and neither is my rolled out pie crust. So I honestly, I want these pretty good size, so we're just gonna do eight turnovers. Ooh, is that too, too on the, yeah, nope, that's perfect, okay. Eight turnovers. So I'm going to cut this into four squares, right? And we have our squares. I am going to get my um, my flour back out because I'm going to need it for that one. We're going to make eight turnovers. If you wanted to do this, get two packages and <clears throat> literally. Okay, now we're going to open our lid. And oh wait, this is also sponsored by Four Jars. And I did this in November of 2022. So let's see how we did. See how that pie filling was all the way up to the lid? That's what, that's what happens typically with pie filling. And as soon as you open it, the suction lets all that down and it's, um, I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. And if you guys watch that video, I do a couple little things that you might not do in your pie filling that <clears throat> I feel like is necessary. 
So I am gonna get some butter. So hold okay, the fork. So on each one, I'm gonna smear about a teaspoon of Kerrygold butter, okay? Or a half a teaspoon, which, whatever you prefer. I, you, I put butter in my pies, you know, I dollop butter and that's how I'm doing it. This time around, it makes it much easier. And we're gonna, I'm gonna cut some of these right in the jar. And you don't wanna overstuff your, your little pies, but oh my gosh, it might be hard to resist. So get yourself a good, you know, dollopy dollop of that filling and you've got the butter. And then we are going to egg wash this, but I want to, uh, yeah, we're gonna dollop around the edge. I've got my egg wash. This is just a farm fresh egg. And I'm gonna go around all the edges. And that way I can seal this down to itself. Pretty easy. You could use water here, but I've already got the egg, so I might as well, because I'm not gonna use this whole egg on this recipe. And then I, okay, here's the tricky part. Scoot that pie filling over, okay? You're gonna probably have to do a little stretch and fold action. Get that pressed over to where you want it, tuck that filling in. And if you make a mess, uh, no harm and no foul. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna call the police on you. So the turnover police will not show up at your door. Um, I promise. So if you did not get this side sealed because it didn't want to seal, we're gonna turn it over and make it behave. And sometimes I'll take a fork and crimp that, and that's probably what I'm gonna do, and get it over onto parchment paper. I'm gonna put a slit in that, hold the fork one second, and we'll get our sticky hands cleaned up. Grab a clean fork, and mine, mine aren't gonna be as pretty as some. Oh, maybe not. This dough has really gotten soft. The whole idea though is to just get it onto the uh, cookie tray, okay? Right there. And if you wanna dust it with a little more flour and really and truly just poke right in the center, it's all gonna work out in the wash, right? Okay, let's hope. But let's do a little less pie filling this time. And we'll get all four of these. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I love apple pie filling, because you can just make a hot dessert with a little, um, oh, like a, a crumble topping, like what you would put on a pie, only just do it right in a ramekin. And I'm telling you, it's like comfort food, isn't it? Don't all, all of the TV dinners give you some kind of apple pie dessert, only herb, apple dessert? It seems like, it seems like that's what I see. Now, I could be wrong, but okay. Let's see if I got too much again. Oh, maybe, oh baby. It's all right. I am not, I'm not upset about this at all. Okay. And if you want to fork it, fork it and fork it. And a big poke right in the center. Get it on over to, there you go. My cookie sheet is ready and waiting. And I will egg wash those. Let me get the rest of these done and I'll be back. Okay, I've got one pan done there. Getting ready to go into the oven. I've got my oven preheated to, what, 400 degrees on convection. So that's, that's gonna run it pretty hot. And I, this made eight. So I'm gonna egg wash these over here. Oh yeah, my bowl's leaving a icky mess. Okay. Um, they were a little messy, but I got the hang of it. It's okay. Mine aren't gonna be picture perfect. That's part of being homemade. 
You don't want to take these out of the oven and have your family think that you put them out, you popped them out of a, a you know, a frozen doodah and they're eating store-bought, factory-made turnovers. This is home canned, farm fresh eggs. These, this egg is right, right from the chickens. Yeah. Anyway, all right. Now you could put some um, sugar if you wanted to sugar coat the top a little bit. Um, I'm gonna put icing on here, so I'm not gonna do that. But I've got two pans, eight turnovers. I'm super excited. And you definitely don't want to skip the egg wash because this dough will look absolutely beautiful. So I'm putting these puff pastry stuffed pastries in the oven. Apple pie, pastry, oh my gosh, apple pie turnovers. And then I'll get to making my glaze for when they come out. So for the cream cheese icing, ooh, I'm doing vanilla, half and half, half a brick of cream cheese and um, confectioner's sugar. Uh, convection, confectioner's sugar is just powdered sugar. So we wanna, we wanna use that. It makes it delicious with the cream cheese. It's so good. I was gonna do a little bit of a cinnamon thing, but I decided nah, vanilla was a better, better option. So about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of vanilla. I don't think you can do too much there. And then we're gonna grab our powdered sugar and we're doing this a third of a cup. We'll see where that gets us up. My cream cheese is softened to room temperature. So we're gonna go ahead. You can use a mixer and my um, two tablespoons of half and half is also room temperature. So I will be adding, I'm sure. Yeah. This is why I don't like these balloon whisks. Cause this is what happens. You get your stuff all stuck inside. That never happens with my uh, Danish whisk. So, but I don't know that that's the, what I need for this today. So we're just gonna use two utensils so we get it mixed up. Okay, I think it's gonna work a little better now. We'll put that there and lean it up against that. Nope, we will not. We will try. Nope. Okay, now hold on. <laughs> hold, please. <clears throat> you don't want it so thick that you can't drizzle it down. And I, but I do want it thick enough. It's, you know, we're gonna, there we go. We're just gonna beat this up until it's all incorporated and nice and smooth. And oh my goodness. And you could sprinkle after you put the cream cheese icing on, you could sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon if you want. But I really like the flavor of the cinnamon and the cardamom that's in that apple pie filling that you just, I don't want the cinnamon to overpower the cardamom. So there you go. We have a nice cream cheese icing to drizzle down on each one. Okay, and if you don't think you've got that whipped up well enough, you could put it in on, you know, like a defrost power for oh, I, uh, maybe 11 seconds and finish, but this is gonna sit out here on room temperature and I'll, I'll whip it up again before I apply it. Okay, I'll be back when I'm taking those out of the oven. Okay, you guys, I am icing my turnovers. They just came out of the oven. They were in there about, oh, I don't know, 20, 20 25 minutes, actually. To, just till they're golden brown, to the brownness you like. I did flip up and check the bottoms, you know, they're brown. I don't want them any browner than that, so that's when I made my decision. Hey, that's good. And so I'm just taking the icing here and doing a little doody doo da. It doesn't have to be perfect. Again, these are homemade, but I do want plenty of icing because everybody loves that. So, oh, I lost some of that 
crispy, crusty, crusty day dust. Yeah, so I'm just gonna continue this action. Look at that. Isn't that good? Mm -mm -mm. And I'm taking these to the work, uh, to work. So I'm, I'm not gonna break into this right here. I don't think, even though I want one really bad. I'm not even a sweets eater, but I know how good that pie filling is. And it just is so different from any other pie filling or, you know, apple pie that you've had that you just go, oh, what's that? What's that flavor? Yeah. So put as much or as little icing as you want. We're gonna get these all iced up and I'm gonna get a picture and look how pretty these are. These are beautiful, light and fluffy and flaky apple turnovers made from your home can pantry items. So make it March. Thank you for giving me the inspiration to get in my pantry and pull out some things that, you know, I've got sitting there. I might as well use them. And this was something that I hadn't thought of until the other day. So there you go. All right. I'll see you next time. I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe. God damn it. So I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe for Make It March using our home canned items that we are taking off the shelf and creating a meal, a, a recipe, or a sweet treat for our families. And we, you know, it's stuff that we've already canned. You might as well create something delicious with it, right? Okay, if you've made apple turnovers like this or any kind of fruit turnover with your home canned pie filling or jam, let me know in the comment section. Please don't forget to comment so you get put in for the drawing for the uh, Presto canner and the other absolutely fantastic prizes. And thank you, Lisa, again, for inviting me to be a part of this collaboration. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I really do want one. My mouth watery, but I don't want it. I don't want to, I, I, I have eight people I know would love these. And I, I, I really, my waistline does not need it. But trust me when I tell you, they're going to be delicious. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye. So, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you give me a thumbs up and you subscribe. Go down below and check out all the other videos from the Make It March collaboration.